Ba -da 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 -ba 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 -ba. Hey, it's Peter Gregg. Welcome to Peter's Kitchen. Who put this box here? Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. This is to Peter Gregg, Miami, Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Are you Peter Gregg? No? Anyone else in here named Peter Gregg? No? Then it must be for me. Oh my goodness, I have a new box here. I need a kitchen knife. I've got one in the drawer right underneath here. Okay, so this is mine. It's, it's got my name on it. And since none of you have that same name, let's cut this all, all the way through. All the way through, that's it. Come on, okay. And we'll open this side also. And we'll see what's in here. You know what's in here because you read the title before you opened up the video. I'm not that dumb. I was born at night, but not last night. Oh my, my, my. This is the brand new 2021 Instant Pot Pro. My friend Sly sent it to me for kind of like the grand reopening of Peter's Kitchen, which is what we've got going on right now. So let's get this, this is a big box. Dear Lord Jesus, this is a big box. Let's get it down. Oh, <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, I'm, I'm right here, I'm right here. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, oh look, it's a box inside of a box. Oh, like one of those Christmas presents. Oh, is it, she's heavy. Oh, Marona, what a nice box. How about if I just keep the box? This looks gorgeous. What a beautiful bo box. Oh, my, my, my. Let's, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, it says, hello. Get ready to experience fast, tasty, and healthy cooking with the brand spanking new Instant Pot Pro. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, we got custom packaging. That goes right in the bigger box. And we've got an O-ring for the lid. I don't know if there's an extra one or if that's the one that we go, we're gonna have to use in a second. We have instructions. I'm a guy. You know how guys and instructions get along? Like that. Oh my God, I put it right here. <laughs> I couldn't have done that if I tried. Okay, so let's keep the instructions. Okay, let's make sure it's closed and pick it straight up and put it on the counter. Isn't this exciting? Okay, okay. Thank you, Sly. Thank you, Sly. Okay, we got up this box. I'm going to move it out of the way. You know, in case of fire, I need like a, a quick uh, egress out the door. I could always go that way, but the box was in my way over this side. So let's turn this, this let's turn this this way. I didn't turn anything. Let's peel this off here. Oh, this is exciting. This is like Christmas. That's my other channel, the Christmas room. So let's, let's get this off of here and this off of here. And we'll get, let's see, you try that. And I score. Okay, let's get the plug out. Oh, it's got a plug protector. Look at that. It, it just, it's just, it's a, I have no idea why they put those things on there. Okay. So let's take that off and put that over to the side. And let's take a look at this. Okay. So I have over here, I have the Instant Pot Ultra. Okay. So I'm going to move the Ultra over here so they can be kind of like side by side. This is my favorite uh, uh, kitchen cooking tool. I mean, I cook so much stuff in here. I'm a guy. What do I know about cooking? It needs to be fast. It needs to be good. It doesn't necessarily need to be fast. I found that part out. Okay. However, before I knew that it needs to be fast. So let's see what kind of stuff they've done to this one. Let's put this one up front and center so we can take a look at it. All right. It turns this way and the lid comes off. How about that? I can do that. Okay, let's move this one over to the side. 
because I want to see the new one. All right, so if you buy one of these, uh, you can buy them in different kinds of stores. Uh, where, where can you buy it? I'll write a post-it note and stick it on the refrigerator here, okay? So I'll just, I'll put it on the refrigerator. No? What's wrong with the refrigerator? All right, you talked me into it. I'll put in the description below like everybody else. I wanted it to be different, okay? So this is the inner, inner liner, okay? So this is stainless steel. I highly suggest, well, look at that. It's different already. I highly suggest that you always buy the stainless steel pot and not the Teflon pot. The Teflon pot's good for six to eight months. Then it's scratched up and you're not supposed to be eating with uh, scratched Teflon. So let's just save this just in case I have to send it back. Maybe it don't work. We, I don't know. Okay, so this is the inner liner. All right, this is the lid and this is the cooking base. Duh, all right, was that that hard to figure out? Now, here's the older one, okay. It's not that old, this is the Ultra. All right, so this one's got the inner liner and this one's got the inner liner. Okay, this one's got handles on it. Let's see where the handles go. Oh, look, they've got slots. They have slots here just, just for the handles, okay. As a matter of fact, I have, um, uh, let's see. Let me get the mouse. Don't get up, don't get up. I got the mouse, I got the mouse, okay. So why did I get the mouse? Because I have a camera up on top of my head. Right there. So now I can show you that this is, it's got the handles. And this, this sets right in here. And see how it's got like a handle mount here? Now what I don't know is if it gets really hot, if these handles, if you need a pot holder or not. So always be cautious and it only goes in, it won't turn. Okay, it just seats itself. Now these do feel like silicone, silicone, no, it's silicone. All right, let's move this out of the way and bring this back over here because I got important stuff to tell you here. Let's put the camera where you can see me. Okay, here I am. All right, so that's one of the differences right there. So it looks like they've Actually, I, I see quite a few differences that they've taken major step forward um, and one of them is in safety. I'll get to that in a second. All right, so on the back of this here, there's this little plastic cup. It's got tape. Okay, so the purpose of this cup is it slides out like a drawer, straight in and out. This accepts the water that's going to drip when you, when you open this up Okay, and you seat it like in here. You can't find the hole. Okay, I found it. Don't worry, don't get up. Okay, the water will drip out of this just, just from sweat. And it'll go in this big ring and it'll come out the back over here into this cup. All right, so that's what that cup is for. So I'm looking for it, it's in my hands. So it just kind of slides in here like a drawer. Once you realize how it goes in and out, it's easy as pie. Almost, maybe, okay, maybe not as easy as pie, but quite easy. It snaps in. All right, what the good thing is on the other one, it keeps falling out. So they made this one a little harder to get in and out, which is a good thing. All right, I look like I'm struggling, but once it snaps in, it's not going to fall out like this one does. And I have no idea where this one went. Might even, nope, it's not on there. Okay, so that's a plus. All right, so they've got a warning in here. Okay, the warning, never use the instant pot without the stainless steel inner pot in place. I believe it or not, I have seen people put food directly in here. This is your heating element. It's like pouring your food right on the stove. Just pour it on the stove, no pot, no pan. Just pour the food on the stove. So the food, okay, I know this is kind of low level, even below kindergarten, but just for the sake, because I love you guys and I don't want anybody getting hurt, all right? The food doesn't go in the pot. The food goes in the liner or the main pot. And this pot actually has another warning. 
I mean, they, they, it looks like they got big on warnings here. Uh, read the warning cards and read the warning stickers. Duh! Remove all packaging materials. Good one. Okay. Uh, warning cards and uh, pay attention to the important safeguards. Okay, let's get down to the important safeguards. So we've got two warnings. Okay, so apparently they are paying very strong attention to the safety. I have to laugh because when I was a kid, my mom had one of these on the stove over here. And when the pressure got up, the, there was this little thing on the top and it would go tss, 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 and all of us were scared, okay? And one time she forgot the heat on high and we had a boom. And thank God no one was in the room because I don't know what would have happened. But that thing flew off, the steam was flying up like crazy, all right? So it comes with a trivet. I don't know who named trivets trivets, but this is a trivet. Maybe the rabbit people were in charge that day. And they said, uh, what are we going to call this thing? And they said, rivet, rivet. And they said, what did you say, trivet? Okay, and now it's called a trivet. All right, so Instant Pot Pro does come with a trivet, comes with a stainless steel pan. It also, I'm going to put this in here for the moment. It also comes with handles. I do have to say they're about the same weight. Um, actually, this one might even be, the new one might be even a little heavier. All right, so obviously, uh, I have more than one of these. I can interchange these liners because all these parts are basically the same crap, okay? However, with this one, you got to use this one because it's got the handle. You can't put this one over there. Now, the important thing, or the great thing is, when I cook, cook vegetables or rice or something, I want to take this out and put it on a pot holder, okay? Now, with this, I need two pot holders to grab the lip and pick it up and put it down, all right? Now, with this one, if these are silicones, uh, I can pick this up and put the food down here, take the chicken out or the steak or whatever I want or stir the rice. That's pretty cool. Now, in the bottom of this, it's got like a button. Okay, that's what. That's why I have the overhead camera, guys, so that I can actually show you this stuff. I don't know what's the problem. All I have to do is push the button, okay? So it's got this button right there. When I press the button, it'll allow it to work. When I don't press the button, it's not going to allow it to work. God, how ingenious is that? Who thought that one up? They probably should get a raise because that's just incredible. All right, let's get back to me. Oh, there I be. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Okay, so now let's take a look at this lid. This lid is kind of important. This is where all the action happens in terms of getting things to work well, not work well, or actually hurting yourself, okay? So this becomes really important. I know this is low, wait a minute. I know this is really low level stuff. For you guys that actually own these things, you're going like, all right, this is boring. Well, go away. <laughs> so you got a mouse? I have a mouse. Go to another video. It's easy as that, all right? But for those of you that are very new, this is probably, as a single guy, uh, if I moved into a brand new apartment, this would be one of the very, very first things I would buy is an Instant Pot of some type, all right? The Instant Pot Pro has got a few features that makes it more attractive to me, all right? So now let's look at this lid, all right? This becomes important because they've added some stuff here that you don't have. I have a monitor there in case you're wondering. What are you looking at? The kid in the in the playpen? I don't have a kid in the playpen, but I do have the monitor. There, I'm on my own TV. I am famous in my own house, okay? So this is the lid, all right, from the old one, and this is the lid to the new one. I have Mickey Mouse ears. I have Instant Pot ears, all right? So on the old one, you see all this shiny stuff? This is serious, burn you, really bad, uh, almost go to the hospital type of heat, this, this, this silver spots, okay? Now, if you notice on this one, the silver spots are gone. What happened to them? They actually put a little lid here, a safety lid that you can take out. There's your silver spot. Now, that silver spot is hot. 
red, red hot. So this looks like a heat dissipator and it snaps right into place. You could pop it out, put it in. So when and if, more like when, you spill stuff, you could take it out and wash it when it's cool. All right, now the other thing that they have is they've got this warning label. <laughs> this warning labels everywhere. In other words, they don't plan on, on landing up in court because people do dumb things. So there's another warning label. So this has, this is the pressure gauge, okay? It comes right off. See, when I put it on, it snaps on, and it'll go round and round if I, I can just spin it, okay? Now, on, on the uh, older ones or other ones, you don't have an easy way to make that release, all right? Now, on this one, they have a button that you press down or you pop up and press down, okay? So this would be a great time for the overhead camera again. So I'm going to click on it. There we go. All right. So let me show you. All right. If I push it down, basically it goes, let's see if I could centerize it. See how it tilts and comes out? Because if I take this off, the steam that's inside is going to blow like a whale. Okay. Oh, it'll put actually uh, a hole in your ceiling. It'll actually, no joke, this is go to the hospital type steam. All right, that's how, sh how fast it shoots out and how hot. This is a weighted piece that goes on here, all right, and it's loose. So they tilt it up and that's going to allow the steam to come out, which comes out and spits. And that's why I keep a, uh, a towel close. Now, on the new one with the Instant Pot Pro, 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 okay, they've added a little diffuser, a little deflector that I could put on top of that piece, okay? So now it's gonna come out, it's gonna hit the center of this plastic piece and then come out the holes on the side, which is going to deflect it, all right? This piece also comes out, just pops right off and it pops right back on and it just spins round and round, it's loose. The weight of this is what controls uh, the pressure to stay inside the pot. Without that on there, you would actually have uh, no, you wouldn't have the ability to build up steam, number one, and number two, you wouldn't have the ability to control the steam. Now, this one doesn't have a push button. It goes like that. You see how it, it you could almost just see it from the shadow. See how it moves? That little movement is going to allow you to release the steam. Now, you've got another little red thing right there, okay? Let's get this up there. See, that goes up and down, up and down. I'm pushing it from underneath turn this over, okay, and you can see the inside, all right, you've got a ring that goes all the way around, so we do have a ring, that answered my question at the beginning, what's this, this is an extra ring, and this one's red, this one's white, this is in place, okay, now normally, this little piece right there, okay, sits by gravity in the down position, as the pressure builds up, this will lock, boom, okay, and when it locks, you, have, you are now in the process of building up pressure cooker, instant pot pressure cooker, okay? So we have a number of safety things uh, that's going on here. Now, this doesn't mean because we have safety things that you don't pay extreme attention, okay? Because this is uh, under pressure. I'm putting the cap. There I am. I thought I lost me, okay? So we have a guard here that will protect our hands from touching that. Ouch! Serious burn, okay? And we also have an added deflector. This will work with or without the deflector, okay? The problem is when I let out the steam, now I have a camera up there and I will have the cleanest camera in the world because <laughs> it's gonna get a shot of steam right at the camera, probably damage it, all right? So this has a little deflector. So the holes are in the center here. And when I pop this on, okay, now the holes are on the side. Uh, but it's still on the top, and it's going to probably make it more diffused. Now, what I do is I keep a towel. Here we go. I keep a towel because when it starts to, to come out, if you put things in here that are oily or highly starched or you put too much water, it's going to not only shoot out the steam, it's going to spit like worse than a one-year-old, two-year-old that has a tantrum. So I keep one of these 
and I just lay it right over the top. And yes, this towel will get hot and burn you also. So you would grab the towel like this when it's done, okay? So now when you let all this pressure that's going on in here, when you let it out naturally, it's called, you ready for this? You better get paper and pencil to write notes, okay? It's called, when you let it out naturally, it's called a natural release. <laughs> really, it's called the natural release, okay? Now, when you push your button or, or, or push the button on this one or whatever you've got on your pressure cooker uh, so that it can come out quickly, it's called, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's called a quick release. God, who came up with this stuff? Ingenious. Okay, so let's move the towel in the pot holder and put this guy back in the center. Okay, so when this goes on here like that, all right, we have the beginnings of a cooking session. Now on the back, you have um, the electricity. And let me take a quick look here. All right, this is not removable, all right? On this, on the, on the Instant Pot Ultra or one of the ones that maybe you guys have, it's removable, okay? Now the other thing is the cord is not very long on mine. So for instance, if I wanted to cook right now and show it to you and keep it in the center, okay? I want to unwind this cord, all right? So let me see if this cord is any longer. Nope, they're the same length, all right? So you've got to have, if you're gonna have a show like me <laughs> with cameras, you have to have electricity or you're gonna be, have to be prepared to actually move the pot or you're going to have to get an extension cord which they deliberately say do not use extension cords. So if by golly you happen to get one, an extension cord, okay, then you need to get a heavy gauge one, like an air conditioner, a 110, this is 110, okay, this is not like 220 or anything, uh, uh, air conditioner weight extension, because there's a lot of electricity going to go through here, all right? This is like like a high-powered hair dryer, so you don't want to damage anything. Let me put the let me put this plug back in here. All right, so we don't have a removable plug anymore, okay? I'm pulling on it. Nope, it doesn't remove. All right, now to put this on, um, I'm cheating because I'm in the back and I can see exactly where it fits on, okay? And it goes left and right. Let's check and see it from the front. Oh, the front's got little marks. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's an on mark. And when you put it in and you turn it, this is the locked mark. Okay. So you can tell where the lock position is and where you can turn it to open it. However, it's got another safety feature. If it's got too much pressure and you're in the locked position, it's not going to let you turn this to unlock it. Never force that. You don't want to open this and go, boom, shakalaka laka, boom, shakalaka, okay? You'll have spaghetti and meat sauce all over the ceiling. You'll have uh, whatever the heck you're cooking everywhere, including possibly on you and your face. And all joking aside, at that point, it's going to be hot, H-O-T, hot, H-O-T, hot. All right, so now we're going to get some electricity going here. And I'm going to show you some of the basic buttons that goes on uh, on this. All right. So let me get some electric and I'll be right back. I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Here I am. Here I am. Don't get excited. I'm back. I went to get an extension cord. I got it ready. Uh, I do use more than one instant pot. As a matter of fact, I've got one, two, three sitting in this room alone, including this one here. And there's one in the closet. They call it the gadget grave, but uh, it's a 10 quart. I cook a turkey in there. It's a, a small one, like a 12 pound turkey. All right, so first thing, if you're gonna use an extension, you cannot use a lightweight extension. This one is designed for like a room air conditioner that goes in a window or something. You can get them at the big box stores, Lowe's or Home Depot's or someplace, but it's gotta be a heavy weight extension. All right, so now I'm gonna plug this guy in. All right, and did you hear it beep? That means it's been plugged in. Okay, so it's got a lot of other neat little things uh, that's available for you to use. So what I really wanna do is I wanna show you some of the basic, basic, 
basic buttons so that you can get rock and rolling uh, just by maybe um, uh, looking at other YouTube videos, even some of my older ones where I made rice pudding in the uh, Instant Pot. I made the, the lamb, a beautiful lamb, uh, in the Instant Pot. And because the Instant Pot that I have, at least two of them and now three, have the sous vide function. What? You've never heard of the word sous vide? You've got to be kidding me. All right, sous vide is, is very simple. It's cooking and using hot water instead of hot air. So when you open your oven, water doesn't pour out, it's hot air that pours out, okay? So you put it in there and you use hot air. And the newer ones have fans in there, they call convection ovens. Oh my, we are getting really advanced, okay? So now they have something where you have hot water. This is able to do it. The Instant Pot Pro, the new one that just came out this year, is able to add that feature amongst all the other features like slow cooking, rice, uh, you're able to saute, all kinds of cool stuff. And this one has added um, sous vide. Sous vide means basically you're cooking it in water. But you're not putting the food in the water. We're not talking about boiling food. Yeah, you do boil eggs, okay? But even the eggs are inside of a shell, okay? So in this case, we have the, uh, uh, the inner liner because remember, we do not cook anything, okay, without the inner liner. You're just basically putting it like on the blender, not in, in the container for the blender. All right, so since this is brand new, thank you again, Sly. Sly actually has her own channel, Sly Reader, R-E-A-D-E-R. -E you know what? I'll put a post-it note on the refrigerator for you. No, again? What's I, all my life? I've been putting post-it notes on the fridge. All right, I'll put a link in the description to Sly that actually sent me this as a gift for the Peter's Kitchen. All right. So now, because this is brand new and it's got a beautiful black finish to it, let's lay a kitchen towel on it because I'm going to use that super duper overhead camera, all right, because I want to show you, I want to show you the buttons, all right, so I'm going to turn this, give, th this is like, all right, backstage stuff, let me lay it on its back, all right, so now it's on its back, and then let's put a pot holder on this side, and a pot holder on this side to keep it from rolling. Okay, so now I can go play a, ba a game of baseball, a basketball, and I know this isn't going to go anywhere. And then I can come back. But I don't play baseball. I don't play basketball at my age. I don't do much of that. All right, so let's tune in that camera that's way up above so that you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, there's my mouse pad. Let me get closer to it so that I don't fall over. All right, let's, let's put this under the camera. Okay, so it says off. How do we spell off? Well, in case you forget, they have it right there for you. Okay, can we get a little closer? Nope, that's not closer. All right, that's as close as we can get. Oh, come on, I think I can get closer than that. Who the heck is running this place? Peter, what? You can get close, there, oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, now I can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm trying to get the glare out in case you're wondering. Okay, so off is when you first turn it on, it's gonna be off. The cancel button is the same as an off button. O-F-F -F spells cancel, okay? Start is the same as triggering uh, an action, all right? So the top one here says pressure cooker. I can't get it any closer, guys. That's as, that's as close. That's the full, full extent of zoom, all right? So it might not even look super clear, but maybe it will, all right? So the easy thing is if you want to pressure cook, guess what? You put the pressure cook button, all right? And then you see the top, top right there where it is blinking? All right, so this would be an argument of like an automatic transmission versus a manual transmission. I like using a manual transmission. Most people like using the automatic. But since I have so many different pressure cookers, 
and yes, I'll cook chicken in one, I'll cook frozen vegetables in the other, and I need more than one, okay? So I need how to know how to do the same thing in every pressure cooker, and this will also give you an advantage because you'll know. So when we have custom there, all right, we want to press this button here. One simple click. All right, now we're in the custom mode, and when I turn this dial, okay, it does do nothing. I don't want it to do nothing. Oh, yes, I didn't press it hard enough, okay? So that's the amount of time. It's going up and down. So custom and turning this dial will allow me to do time. So let's cancel. Let's go back to the off position, okay? So I want to trigger it on by pressing pre uh, the pressure cooker button, okay? So I also want to um, acknowledge that I want to be in the custom mode. If I turn this dial, it's going to go in another mode, and then you're going to get really confused. So you can either turn this and try to find that custom feature, or click to cancel and start over again. And it will always start in the custom. Now you confirm that by pressing enter by pushing this button in, okay? Now, when you do that, you, the next thing you're going to get is you're going to get a low or high. I always go to high, not to low, but to high. All right, so let's start over again so that you can get this procedure down easily. So you're going to go pressure cooker. You're going to confirm custom. You're going to confirm high. And now we're going to pick the time, okay? So if I was going to pressure cook rice, let's say, and I'm not going to teach you how to do rice right this second, but if I was going to pressure cook rice, I would go down to four minutes. I would take everything that I wanted to put into my inner liner, and then I would press start. Okay, now since there's no inner liner in, and I'm sideways, oh, it will start. It won't heat up though, because the inner liner is not in there and it's got that button, okay? All right, so now, if I was gonna cook, let's say, a bag of frozen vegetables, let's say I wanted to get healthy and I wanted to uh, take a bag of frozen vegetables and it says to put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, well, I don't wanna use a microwave. I, I don't wanna nuke my food, all right? We do have a microwave in the kitchen. I don't use it, so I would put pressure cook, okay? I would confirm with one press that I want it to be custom. I would confirm with one press I want it to be high. And I want to take, and I want to take that, and I know that I want 13 minutes. So when I want 13 minutes and that's already set, I would press start. Now, if I'm going to do that every night, night after night, night after night, night after night after night after night, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, I could actually take this and put it on one of the five radio buttons, like favorite one. So when I get the frozen uh, baggie out of the freezer, I would open the bag, I'd put it in the inner liner, I would use kind of like a basket or something, which I have, which you can get, okay? And I would push favorite number one, and I don't have to go through all that uh, stuff of setting it up. I just know that my frozen foods is on favorites number one. Okay, just, just so you know that there's some shortcuts that have been built into this new one that went on the old one. On, on the old one that's sitting right here, I still got to do all that manually, but it's not hard, honestly. It's like a child could do it. So if you can't do it, get your kid to come and they'll do it. All right, let's get back to business here. All right, so let's go back to the overhead camera. All right, let's cancel out. All right, so I use pressure cook. The other item that I use is saute, okay? So I would push saute. It's gonna saute for 30 minutes, which means basically it's gonna give me a stove top, all right? So I would just push saute and hit the road jack, okay? I'm gonna cancel it out because I don't want, I don't want any heat to happen right now. I'm, I'm on, it's on its side, all right? And it's between, uh, on a, uh, you know, a towel between uh, uh, two pot holders, okay? So now the other feature that's very important for this one versus the other, most of the other, uh, the other units, 99% of the pressure cooker units do not have this sous vide button right there. Let me make it so you can see it. 
We got plenty of glare. You need glare? Come and get it. We got plenty of it. So I would push the sous vide button once. Custom, absolutely, positively, enter. Okay, now is the temperature. Okay, what's the temperature of? The temperature is of the water that I will be putting the food in. I will be putting the food into a baggie or one of those uh, like uh, food saver things where it vacuums out the air, but a baggie for most people. And I will uh, season it. I will get as much air out of the baggie as possible. And then I want to use the temperature control, which means it won't cook any higher than that temperature. So this is kind of like you can forget about it and make a mistake and the food won't be overcooked really unless you forget about it for a day okay if you do that we got other kinds of problems all right so um so let's say chicken thighs you want to make chicken thighs all right well i know for chicken thighs i'm going to go to 153 degrees so i'm going to set it to 153 degrees then i will press the start button uh, i will take the inner liner Fill it with water up to the up to the line that they give you and uh, put the chicken, the baggie with the chicken in it inside the pressure cooker and it you will time this manually. So I like it four hours or more. You can go eight hours, but it's better about four, four to five hours. Now, if I was going to cook white meat like the breast, OK, I don't want 153. I want 100 and 40, um, well, let's say 143, okay? Actually, I like it a little better, 144, all right? So I would press start. I would get the chicken in the baggie. I would season up the chicken in the baggie. Then I would get the air out of it, and I would put it in the pot of water. And then if I decide I'm very confused, I can just push the cancel button, all right? So that's two major features that you're going to use uh, right off the bat uh, in cooking stuff or let's put it this way it's two major features that I'm going to be showing you some recipes on how to be doing and I will be using the pressure cook button and I will be using the sous vide button so the pressure cook button puts everything under pressure I would cook rice frozen vegetables you can put your rice and you can put those thin chicken tenders raw on top of the rice it'll cook everything all at once we got all those recipes coming up you can make rice pudding you can make lamb i make the most amazing baby back ribs in the pressure cooker i cook them in here and then i put them in the broiler or air fryer in your case sly i know she has an air an air fryer and i give them i put some i paint them with barbecue sauce and put them in the air fryer or in the broiler in the oven uh, for 10 minutes and it all it'll crisp them up but it'll be cooked to the temperature that i want to cook it at so um and and uh, uh, for this one let's see i use pressure cooker okay so i'll give you we'll do we'll do baby back ribs okay so this is the overview. Um, I have a tendency to repeat myself, so get over it. All right. You, you trigger it with one of these buttons here. Okay. These are all like radio buttons here. This one's called pressure cook. This one's called rice. This one's called steam, saute, bake, yogurt, sous vide, and a slow cooker like a crock pot. Okay. I use pressure cooker. I use sous vide. And sometimes I use the saute, like in rice pudding, I need it to heat up to the point where it just begins to bubble, okay? And then I immediately, I push the cancel to make it stop. So it'll say off, all right? So this is electronic. It's actually fairly easy. And most guys and most gals get into a simple routine. And that's why on the Instant Pot Pro, they have added five radio buttons, one, two, three, four, five. So if you push the button, okay, it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff, which we're not going to go over now, or this video is going to be like two hours. All right. So I'm going to push cancel. It's going to go to off. And there we have it. All right. So let's go back to our regular camera. Where am I? Let's get Peter back in here. There I am. 
So now you've got a basic overview of the Instant Pot, the new one, all right? We're gonna be able to make rice in here. We're gonna be able to make frozen vegetables. Get the organic ones, it's healthier, okay? So let's put this over here and we'll face it there. And you see how it says off, O-F-F, -F, okay? Like fox, F-O-X, like tomato. Okay, that's too many letters, <laughs> okay? So, do you need an overview for safety again? Uh, I'll just give you the really quick one. The really quick ones are, this top gets hot, hands off. This gets quite warm, but you can touch it. A child can put a hand on here while it's fully operational and it won't burn them. Now, if you have your liner in here, which you have to have for cooking, okay? So you put your liner in here and all the cooking, anything you do, always done in the liner. Never, ever, 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 ever don't cook in anything but the liner, okay? And I'm looking in here, I can't show it to you, but it's got a maximum fill line, which is number four, and it also has quarts and liters all marked out for you, all right? So you would put your water in here. Um, here's another rule. Whenever you're going to cook anything except saute, saute is like one of these that go on the fire, okay? Uh, that would be, you put some butter or oil down there and you can saute. But anything else has to have a cup of water, okay? And I am very, very um, exact when I put uh, measurements in when I bake or do anything like that. So I will take and I will put exactly one cup of water in there. That's the minimum, okay? And because I'm very, very exact, I'll just put a little bit more. <laughs> How's that for exact? All right, so <laughs> you always have to build up pressure uh, if you're in the pressure cooker uh, mode. You cannot put, it'll burn, okay? You'll smell it burning. As a matter of fact, it's got a feature that will shut it, uh, itself off and it'll say, burn, baby, burn and then you're stuck because now you're gonna have to wash it out. So for, for pressure cooking, always a cup of water or more, and you can only go to the maximum uh, pressure cook fill line. It's got a clear marking in there. So any dummy can read max PC for pressure cook fill. Ta-dum, dum, okay? Now, if you're gonna use saute, you can go, uh, I'm sorry, if you're gonna use the uh, sous vide, you can go a little bit higher, okay? But I wouldn't go above the five quart line, five quarts, not liters, five quarts, okay? And uh, that's as much as I can think for the introductory thing. Uh, I will put uh, a link in the, on the refrigerator <laughs> or in the description uh, so that you can find what you're looking for um, and there uh, uh, you could go purchase it. I do get a commission. They call it a commission, but basically it's a finder's fee. You will be putting money in my pocket, so if that pisses you off, too bad. Go buy it somewhere else. <laughs> what can I tell you? There's got to be some way to support the channel, right? I think there's a link. You want to buy me a cup of coffee? There's a link in the description where you can buy me a cup of coffee. That's how you make the money. Uh, in this YouTube stuff. We don't have a high number of subscribers. All right, the introduction video to the uh, Instant Pot Pro. It's black, it's beautiful. Um, it can be dangerous if you just don't pay attention to some very basic stuff, okay? Uh, and I will be making more videos showing what to cook We'll make vegetables, we'll make rice. I already made one for rice pudding, but I got a feeling I'm gonna be making rice pudding again, so pff, I'll just video it, okay? And I'm gonna definitely be making baby back ribs. Who um, in God's green earth doesn't like baby back ribs? All right, you four people go over to the side over there, okay? And close your eyes. And then when I'm finished, I'll let you know. All right, Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. I love each one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please. I'm asking, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Whoosh.
You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.